Do you have presentation slides lying around? And the typical way is to share the link, for example, via Google Slides. However, there is another way. You could embed it inside a Streamlit app. And if this sounds like fun, then keep on watching. And so let's get to it. All right, so let's start. And so first thing is you want to head over to the github.com slash data professor slash presentation dash app. And you want to click on use this template, create a new repository, and then to your own GitHub repo or account, you want to type in the name of the repository. So here I'm going to call it presentation. I'll leave it as public. Click on create repository from template. Give it some time, it'll be loading it into your GitHub repo, and there you go. So let's have a high level look at the contents of this. So in the .streamlit, you're going to find a config file, which will provide you with the background color and the font settings that you would like your app to have. Feel free to modify this. You could add packages on Ubuntu if you like. In the requirements here, we only have Streamlit, but if you require additional libraries, if you want to add to your presentation deck, feel free to add it here, like Pandas, Matplotlib, etc. But for this, we're using only Streamlit, and then let's have a look at Streamlit app.py. You're going to see that there's only four lines of code. So on the first line, we're going to import the Streamlit framework as ST. We're going to import the components here from streamlit.components.v1, which will use the iframe method from the components in order to embed the Google slide link. And finally, we're gonna set the height to be 565, but then you could set the size to match the actual height of your slides. And then on line number three, we're gonna give it a title. And here we call it the presentation app. So let's go ahead and create your own Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to start with a blank one and I'm going to use a dark theme here and let's give it a title. Hello world. I'll type in my name and I'll give it some content. Page two, give it some bullet points. Bullet point one, bullet point two, bullet point three. Let's give it some spacing. Format lines to be double. Let's have bullet point four and bullet point five. I'm going to copy this, make it page three, page four, page five. And then on the last page, we're going to say, thanks for your attention. Delete this. And there you go. You have your presentation slides ready. I'll click here and the name will be updated. So let's go ahead and set the permission to this particular slides. So go ahead and click on share and then share with others. And you want to make sure that it, it is not restricted and you want it to be anyone with the link. Okay. And anyone with the link can view your presentation. Let's have a look here. Click on copy link done. Let's preview it. All right. And we got here. Let me open up the incognito. Okay. Incognito works. And let's see. Let me show you how it would not work. Let's intentionally make it not work. So that we'll see what we need to do in order to make it work. So you'll see that when we paste the Google slide link, it worked in the browser. But then if we put it into the Streamlit app, directly like this, it will not work because it is not yet in the embeddable version. Uh, and I'll delete it here. Okay, so that was from a prior session. All right, and now it is deleted. So go ahead and click on new app. Select the repository to be presentation and I'll leave the branch and the file path to be default. Click on deploy. All right, and so a new server will be loaded here. I'll click on manage apps to see the log of the server while it is being created. So in the meantime, you could go and grab a cup of coffee and when you come back, it'll be ready. Give it some time. Okay. So notice that when we copied the Google Slides link, it'll look like this. 
So it'll look like how you would see it in a small browser because we're using the iframe. But then we want to have it look like a presentation, right? So what you want to do is go ahead and go for file, share, and then click on publish to web. So you want the actual presentation slide to expand to the entire iframe. So instead of click on, on the link, you want to click on embed. Okay, so select the size that you like. I'll leave it at default to be medium size. And then I'll leave these to be default. You could take it if you like. I'll click on publish and then confirm it by clicking on OK. All right, and so with this, you want to just copy the link. You don't want the iframe because we already have iframe function within Streamlit. So copy the link here up to delay MS equal to 3000. Copy it. Go back to your app, edit the link again. And you'll notice that the link that you have just copied will be much longer than this one. This one is the link that you would typically share in an email or so. But in order to embed it in a Streamlit app, we need a different version, which was the one I've just shown you in a few seconds ago. Paste it and you'll notice that it's fairly long, right? Longer than the prior version. And I'll leave the size, I mean the height to be 565 and I'll click on commit changes. And now I'll go back to the app. And you see the, the app has just been updated and you'll notice that the height is a bit bigger than the actual height. So feel free to modify the height here. I'll try 520. Give it some time. Okay, it, it is somewhat more compact. I'll give it 500, let's say. Cool. Let me try 480, right? It's more compact. Okay, so it looks good now. And here, you could manually go to the second slide, third slide, fourth slide, fifth slide. There you go. So now you have a awesome way to share your presentation slide from within your Streamlit app. And the great thing about this is you could add a sidebar to it, add some additional filter. You could even have a select box that will allow users to select a presentation of their own interest. And so you could have your presentation deck be selected on demand where users could select whether they want to see presentation deck one, presentation deck two or three, etc. And so this could be interactive. And so if you found this helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. Please feel free to customize the presentation app and deploy it to the Streamlit Community Cloud. And if you tag the Streamlit account on Twitter and LinkedIn, the Streamlit marketing team will be happy to retweet and share your app, which could potentially give you additional boost in traffic. And so, happy Streamlitting!